Well, good afternoon. This is Paul Schimpf. Uh, this is my weekly report from Springfield. I'm joined this week by one of my Emerging Young Leaders Award winners, Reed Schilling, who wrote an essay about the Illinois minimum wage law. Uh, I'm not going to make Reed explain it for the, uh, for the camera right now, but he, did, he wrote a great essay and uh, he was up here to receive his, his award from me today. So Reed gets to stand in with me on this, uh, on this summary of what's going on in, in Springfield and try not to, uh, try not to look bored, okay? Uh, this week in Springfield, not a whole lot is going on because we had the legislative deadline. The deadline for introducing new legislation was last week. So I introduced about seven bills this semester. Probably the one that has gotten the most interest is a bill to prohibit the state of Illinois from charging sales tax on taxes and fees that, we're, that we pay when we buy gasoline. Uh, I don't know whether you realize this or not, but when you buy gasoline in Illinois, you're really paying a compound tax. You pay for the gas, you pay federal taxes, you pay state taxes, and then the state of Illinois comes in for a second bite at the apple and charges you sales tax on the aggregate amount. That's something that I just have a, uh, I have a moral problem with charging tax on tax, it offends me. So I did file legislation to end that practice saying that if we're going to charge sales tax on gasoline, it should only be on the cost of the motor fuel, not the taxes and fees. So far that bill unfortunately has not made it out of the assignments committee, but I'm hoping that we can pick up some co-sponsors and maybe move that. The, the piece of legislation I did file that has made it to a committee is a bill that will couple the DOD's skill bridge program with the uh, Illinois apprenticeship programs. The idea with the DOD skill bridge program is this allows service members who are transitioning out of the Department of Defense to start working for a new company. Ho hopefully those that are in Illinois will start working for companies in Illinois and take advantage of, of some apprenticeship opportunities right here so that they don't leave because we need people to want to stay in Illinois if we're ever going to be able to solve the challenges that we face. The last thing I want to talk about before I wrap up this Springfield, is, this, this uh, section of the week in Springfield is we have had you know, what I think is an unfortunate decision by the Pritzker administration. The Pritzker administration announced that they are no longer going to inform immigration and customs enforcement when un undocumented workers or illegal aliens, it doesn't matter what you want to call them, but illegal aliens who have felony convictions when they finish their time in the Illinois Department of Corrections, the Pritzker administration is no longer notifying federal immigration and customs enforcement of their release. I'm sorry, but I think if you are here as an illegal alien and you have a felony on your record, immigration and customs enforcement should be notified, period. They need to be notified when these individuals are set loose. One of the things the government needs to do is make sure our families are safe I don't see how this goes towards having safe families in Illinois by changing that policy and not notifying immigration and customs enforcement. So that's something that we found, about, found out about this week and I'm very disappointed in. Other than that, it's kind of been a light week in Springfield. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Reed, for coming up and joining me in, in Springfield. And uh, until next week, so long for now.